In this lesson, we're going to focus on the switch statement within PHP. And the switch statement works a little bit differently than an if statement. It doesn't necessarily test to see if a condition is true, but rather matches the condition that is true. And we're going to start by deleting everything but the PHP delimiter. There we go. So we can write a brand new set of code here. And I'll start off with uh, the dollar sign color. And I'll go ahead and end that, uh, or actually we'll set that equal to, we'll set it equal to red to begin with. And that with a semicolon. And what we're going to do is we're going to test um, to see if a condition is met. Now, um, just a quick brief history lesson on rainbows. Um, Newton actually originally said there were five colors within the rainbow. So what we're going to do is just write a quick little um, switching case that's going to basically determine if the color that I type in was a primary color of the rainbow or not. So let's go ahead, and we all know there's seven colors now, but there were five originally. So let's go ahead and work with this. How to start this is we type in the keyword switch. And then I'll go ahead and hit space. And then now we need to determine what our variable is or what our object is that we're going to be testing this condition of. And in this particular case, it's going to be dollar sign color. So what I'm going to do is put that within the um, break curly parentheses. And so we've got switch and we've got color there. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Now that is what I'm testing. And what I need to have now are cases to see whether or not um, this is going to work. And actually what I'll need to put there is a curly brace. There we go. And we'll end our curly brace down here a little bit further. And so everything within the switch statement is going to have is going to be located within the opening and closing curly brace that we have there. So let's go ahead and start off with our first case. I'm just going to go ahead and type in the keyword case. And you can see I've got case there. And then now whatever my um, whatever it's going to be equal to. So color, if, well, let's go ahead and we'll start with the first color of red. I'll just type in red. So if this ends up being red, and you can see the words red, if it ends up being the words red here, then this code will run. And it's a little bit different syntax. We're actually going to put a colon after that. So we have a colon. And then I'll go ahead and hit enter. And then this is where I can enter in the statements or the code that's going to execute if the color was red. So let's just type in an echo statement and make it real simple. Echo this. Uh, I'll just type in red is a primary color to the rainbow. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon like that. And then if we're done with the code, what I'll need to do is type in a special keyword called break. And so I'll put break and put the semicolon. Finally, now we get a semicolon in there, semicolon to end that case. And so case, the first case is now done. And I can put in there as many cases as I want. In fact, let's go ahead and do another case. I'll do case, and let's go ahead and do yellow this time, if it's yellow. I'll go ahead and put the semicolon or the regular colon after that, and we'll just type an echo statement, and we'll say yellow is a primary color to the rainbow. And I'll go ahead and end that with a double quote and semicolon, and we'll go ahead and put in the break and semicolon. All right, so there's a second case. And we're going to go ahead and keep putting in multiple cases. Now I've spaced them down, the first case and the second case. I put a, a return in between those. You don't have to have returns in between them. It just makes it a little easier for me to see my work when I'm typing in here. So let's go ahead and do the next one, case. And we're going to do green. And I'll put the semicolon there. And we'll just echo out here. Uh, green is a primary color to the rainbow. And we'll end that one and put a break statement in there. And we'll do another case. And this one's going to be for blue. And we'll go ahead and type in echo. And blue is a primary color to the rainbow. And then the last one, oh, we got to put a break in there. Break. The last one that we'll do, uh, case, will be violet. The colon there, echo is a primary color to the rainbow. And I'll go ahead and hit enter and end that break. All right, so there's my switch so far set up. If the color is red, yellow, green, blue, or violet, it's going to echo out that condition that we see there. Now we also have a catch-all, or it's going to be called the default, which means if it's none of these cases, if, if none of the cases match the color, 
then what's going to result is kind of like in the if statement this is the else part of it or you know the catch-all for if it doesn't qualify what's going to happen after that so we're going to go ahead and type in the keyword now of default and I'll just go ahead and space and type in default and then colon and I'll just go ahead and echo out sorry that was not a primary color to the rainbow and we'll go ahead and end that and put the semicolon there and I'll end the default with the break okay so this is my entire switch statement and I'll scroll down just a little bit so we can see this here um, at the end of it all is the curly brace and you can, I'll go ahead and delete that line of code there and I'll space that one down so you can see the curly brace is going to end this whole entire switch statement and the opening curly brace is going to open it all so all my cases are going to fall in between those curly braces I've got switch up here which is going to start it all and I've got dollar sign color if I hit save and I hit refresh I've got a little error here so let's go ahead and find our error on line 9 and you can see what my error is if you read through here um, the line I've got case red it actually assumed that I meant red in parentheses because it is a string it did display it here red is a primary color to the rainbow however um, it's assuming what I mean to have so I can modify my code here since they are um, strings that I have here rather than numbers I will need to put them all within uh, double quotes or I could also use single quotes in this case however I'll just go ahead and put them all within double quotes and uh, let's see default okay everything looks like it's there now I'll go ahead and save it and refresh my page and that took care of my error that I had there and so you can see red is a primary color to the rainbow so let's go ahead and change this now to a different color let's try yellow and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and refresh and you will see yellow is a primary color to the rainbow so and essentially what's happening is when we get to the switch it's going to take whatever the value of color is, which is currently yellow, and it's going to t test it on each one of these cases. And when we finally get to the case that it matches, it's going to go ahead and display the code that I have for that particular case. Now, let's go ahead and change this up because I want to type in with a small y yellow and hit save and hit refresh. And you'll notice that it says, sorry, that was not a primary color to the rainbow. And you're going to say, well, yes, it was. And yellow is in there. However, um, we have not changed any of the casing within our letters we're just using capital letters here and so when it matches the case it looks exactly for what we have typed up our right here in our case and small yellow with a small y small case yellow and the capital y for yellow are completely two different things within code so that's one thing to definitely point out and pay attention to and it went ahead and looked through all of these and it didn't find any of them that matched it exactly so it went to the default and it said sorry that was not a primary color to the rainbow and so what we'd have to do is we'd have to work with some different functions that are in PHP that are going to allow us to take everything as lowercase or uppercase and so forth and so there are functions that we'll work with later on in future videos however this particular video is focusing in on switches and cases for each one of those um, for that switch statement and you can see how the setup work it works more on a matching setup rather than testing to see if something is true or not so this concludes the video on the switch statement and the conditional statements here within PHP.